some installation problems are caused by poor machine maintenance, something you can definitely control. For example, the seals have to be replaced when they wear, or your feed rate will be affected. Insulation can blow back through the hopper, and excessive static is possible. The manufacturer of this machine recommends that seals be replaced after every 250 hours of operation. That means if you average five hours of use per day with InsulSafe and work the machine five days a week, the seals should be replaced about every 10 weeks. Check the tension on your belts and chains every day, and make sure belts, chains, and sprockets are in good shape. Regularly scheduled lubrication is very important. Follow the machine manufacturer's recommendations. Be very careful when doing these checkups. Never examine belts or chains while the machine is running, and do not operate any machine unless all the safety guards are in place. If any safety guards are missing, Replacements can be ordered from the machine manufacturer. Here's an easy way to waste insulation and leave the attic with too little R-value. This installer is hitting just about every truss and cross brace in the attic, which compresses the insulation, and compressed insulation loses R-value. He'll also need more bags to do the same job. Blow insulation in the clear, not against obstacles. Hold the hose up, parallel to the floor. Don't point it down. Whenever possible, get in a position so you can blow a long 10 to 12 foot arc, which will keep the insulation uncompressed and fluffy, and avoid excessive cupping, which also compresses insulation. Let's say you've checked and double checked everything we've talked about. Your job ticket is accurate, your machine settings are right on the nose, your hose is 100% correct, you've done proper machine maintenance, including replacing worn seals, and you're still having some problems. The next thing to consider is the insulation itself. Specifically, has it been stored properly? Improper storage can lead to some serious blowing problems. Do not allow moisture to get into the bags. Too much moisture in the insulation can lead to incorrect coverage. Insulsafe should be stored indoors. One symptom of too much moisture is material blowing clumpy like this, which results in uneven coverage. It should blow in a smooth, regular flow, without clumps. Moisture is actually not the only reason for clumping problems. The other is too little air. If your insulation is dry and you still see clumps, check the air pressure. If it's too low, increase the airflow until the insulation blows correctly. Now let's talk about humidity problems and how to correct them. InsulSafe blows best when the relative humidity is in the 40 to 80 percent range. But in some parts of the country, there can be days or weeks or even months when this ideal humidity doesn't exist. It's a good idea to check the local weather forecast for relative humidity readings when starting a job and to be prepared to adjust your settings accordingly. Very low relative humidity can lead to problems with static, which causes insulation to stick to every surface. You may also experience static electrical shocks as you work. You can reduce weather-related static by simply pouring water into the hopper, but it's important to add the right amount. Too much water on dry days and you'll blow clumpy. The right way is to add about 8 ounces of water to the hopper every 2 or 3 bags. But since no two days have the same weather, you should experiment each time to determine the right amount of water to add. Although static is usually caused by weather conditions, it can also be caused when the air pressure in your machine is set too high. In this case, you can reduce static by adjusting the air pressure. If you're experiencing a dusty installation with too much fiber fly, there are three possibilities. Here they are.
with suggested remedies. Too much air pressure. Lower the pressure. An overloaded hopper. Feed the hopper more slowly. A too fast feed rate. Slow up your feed. Now let's talk about hose clogging. This problem can be caused by a feed rate that's too fast or a hose that's too small in diameter. Remember, the hose should be at least three inches in diameter and internally corrugated. Another reason for hose clogging is damp material. We already covered how to avoid this condition. Let's say you've tried all the fixes and your insole safe is still blowing clumpy. Try installing a stator bar to help with additional shredding. In a unisole machine, the stator bar can be installed or removed in a few minutes. If you're using insulation other than insole safe in the machine, you can remove the stator bar. Sometimes this is all you need to do to clear up a clumping problem. If you're using another make of machine and wish to install a stator bar, refer to the operator's manual or contact the manufacturer for technical assistance. There may be times when the product itself is the cause of installation problems. At Certainty, we are very proud of our quality control and product inspections. But occasionally, despite our best efforts, some insole safe may slip through that is not 100% on spec. This is rare, but should you encounter insole safe that seems defective, and you've tried all the remedies we've suggested, we'll evaluate the product for performance. To do this investigation, we need a sample of at least two bags, and the date codes for all the bags you suspect are defective. Your supervisor should contact CertainTeed customer service for instructions. We have developed a concise chart that summarizes everything we've talked about. It's found in the InsulSafe installation manual. Keep it handy for everyday use. One more important reminder. Remember to always install attic rulers and attic cards. Your job isn't finished the right way unless you do. Fixing problems as they occur is the right way to do your job. Thanks for watching.